Okay, today I'm working on a 2000 Lexus RX 330 U140 trans, and we're going to talk about a common problem with this transmission. Uh, there's really only one common problem I feel with this transmission, whether you may have uh, uh, something like no reverse uh, issues going forward, a clock filter. Uh, the number one problem with this particular transmission is the gear train. All right, it starts with the front planetary coming apart and then it kind of just balloons from there. I got one here now, the one out of this transmission, of course, is no good. And whenever we get these jobs in, with this particular transmission, I have never seen a good one yet. Uh, maybe not badly broken up, but still the front planetary uh, becomes very loose is the way it's made. Now I have another setup here and, and I'll show you what to look for if you're going to be replacing the gear train. Again, the main problem is the front planetary. That's what breaks apart and usually takes the rest of the gear train out with it. So I have it here on the bench and I'll get a little closer and I'll show you what happened to this. This one really uh, wasn't that bad. Uh, he was complaining of shifting issues. We dropped the pan, we found some metal in the pan, and you know, there's really, we figured something's coming apart, and I figured it was, you know, I mean, the only thing it really can be with this is the, is the front planetary, and sure enough, that's what it was, because again, that's uh, pretty much what we see with this uh, transmission. Either the gear train's gonna be completely destroyed, the car's not gonna move, or you may have some shif shifting issues, uh, from the gear train coming apart the middle getting into the solenoids I'm going to show you the solenoids as well because they have valves in there uh, you can get the valves hanging up So just going to be a quick video. Let me get you in on the planet set I want to show you what happened or what happens and uh, I have one to show you that is going to be going back in uh, On this particular one. I have a good used gear train which is fine because the front planet has been updated and I'm gonna show you what that update is basically. Instead of uh, this pins holding the uh, holding the planetary together for the gears, for the planetary gears. And the updated one, you know, it, it's welded instead of just the pins holding the uh, holding the gears in place. But I'm gonna show I'll I'll show you all that. And I have the valve body here also. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the solenoids as well. Uh, will identify them and the solenoids on this transmission you can clean, clean real good and you shouldn't have a problem with them. Not like the big brother to this transmission is the U151 and those solenoids, the SL1, 2, and 3 and SLT solenoid give you a lot of problems. Very common issue with that transmission. Um, Alright, so let me get a little closer and we will get started. Okay, so here is the gear train out of the unit, and this is the front planet. This is the piece, of course, that always goes bad. And this particular one, I had two pins break on me and drop down. And when they drop down, they take the rear planet out. All right, this is all ground down up here, so I'm changing that. And with all that going on, and these gears really aren't running true anymore, and there's chunks floating around, we got some broken gears, uh, broken teeth on the sun gear, and we have some broken teeth on the uh, ring gear for the front planet. This is the low clutch hub. All right, I like to change this too because these get some, you know, from the clutches riding here, um, they get some uh, grooves in them. But if this clutch hub is good, you can just take the snap ring out, swap out the ring gear, put the snap ring back in, and you're good to go. Okay. Um, so what I'm doing here now, I'm going to show you the other planet set I'm using. Okay, and here is the front planet, and pretty much the fix, other than to change the planet, is to, I buy this, it's, they're welded in place here, and it's, as you can see, here. All right, this is, um, I think this is, it's either new aftermarket or good used, but I mean, this thing is like new, so either way, the bottom line is you want to make sure that these are welded in place. 
okay? I very rarely see these come out and they are reusable because either these pins are very loose and the gears are no good um, and then the pins inside where the bearings ride for the gears of the planetary wear out. You know, this is, this is pretty much worn on one side as you can see and they just become loose, they wear out, they break, they fall down, every one of them. So that is the fix um, when you get the new gear train or the new front planet, you want to make sure that you have it welded or you buy it and, and it's welded in place. But that's pretty much how they come out. Because um, again, I very rarely, I don't know if I've ever seen a good one come out. Even if these pins are loose, you know, I'd just be suspect of this whole setup and, and at least this and would want to change it. But right now, I just want to talk about this valve body. Well, I got you guys here. So, you know, that's the most common problem I see is this gear train go bad, and that can cause a variety of, of issues. Um, all right, so here is the valve body. And the main reason what I wanted to talk about with this valve body, first of all, identify the solenoids, okay? We have the SLT, the SL1, the DSL or the lockup, the SL2, and the S4. Okay, these solenoids pretty, are pretty good, meaning if you clean these up, these three, you clean them up real good, even if this planet set uh, comes in, and I've seen some of these things destroyed. I think even on the, the U140 teardown video I have, these things are in real, real bad shape. If you clean these three up real good, I clean them in the solvent, I blow them out good, maybe spray some brake clean in there, blow it out good. You can more than likely uh, use these three over again. These are on off, so you can clean these up. You can click them, make sure they click good. You can put them back. Um, out of all the ones I did, uh, maybe two or three times, I've had to change either the SL1 or SL2 solenoid because every once in a while it would give a funky shift, so I would just see what solenoid's turning on and off at that particular time, change it out, and, and, and uh, it was okay. So honestly, it might have been two or three times out of all the units that I'm doing. Uh, but for the most part, these solenoids, if you clean them up, you can reuse them. All right? It's not like the big brother to this transmission is the U151. And those solenoids are, are a nightmare. You got to change them. Every one that I do, those solenoids have to be changed. The SLT, which is the pressure, and the SL1, 2, and 3 on the U151s have to be changed. All right, but on the early uh, U140 valve bodies, uh, these can be used over again. Now on the later years, uh, they did switch to the small ones. Uh, I really haven't done too many of those, so I can't tell you 100% honestly if those solenoids can be used over again. If they are similar to the uh, U151s, you may have a problem with them, but what I had to do one time, I did a, a, a 2008 RAV4, and it did have the smaller solenoids in them, and I had to get this thing, this guy was uh, traveling a lot, um, he had a lot of miles on the car, maybe he's a salesman or something, I'm not sure, but I didn't want to have any issues with this guy coming back, so I wanted to change the solenoids, the small ones, and I couldn't get them. He needed the car by a certain time. The solenoids were a couple of days away or whatever the case may be at the time. So what I actually did was I bought, uh, I had, I didn't buy it, I had a harness. An early, this is an early harness, okay? So what I did was when I rebuilt the transmission, I changed out the harness to an early one. It's the same here on the outside for the external harness. And I installed an early valve body and the thing worked great. No problems at all. And to this day, that valve body is still in there. So that is um, uh, an option if you have it. I had to buy one of these harnesses for another car from Lexus, and it was $40. Well, that was my cost. I think list might be 60 or 65 And these valve bodies are readily available online. You can buy them. But again, these solenoids generally are not a problem. Very, very rarely do I have a problem with them. Now. I just wanted to cover one other thing before we go. 
okay, and that is early RAV4 2001 to 2003 with this U140 transmission in it, okay, all those, from those years, 01 to 03, they all have bad ECMs, all have bad computers. And when the computer goes bad, you're gonna get a PO750, a PO755, and if you do not catch it in time, you're gonna take the transmission out. The computer will take the transmission out. Okay, I believe what's going on from research that I've done is the driver is not completely turning off the solenoid and it's dragging on, causing the clutch to be partially applied where you may not even know. And by, by the time uh, you may find out something's going on, it may be too late. Usually have an issue on the 2-3 ship. Okay, so when I get these 2001, 2003s in, haven't had any in a couple of years, but I did do one a few years ago. I was talking to the people and I asked them if uh, they ever had the computer change because they all go bad. Uh, they are the original owners. They don't believe they did have the computer change. So um, the transmission at that point was no good. So I told them we got to do the transmission and we got to do the computer 100% or you're gonna have a problem. All right, if you do catch it in time, you can change the computer uh, and try it, see, see how, how it is. All right, they, they do sell these, um, these people that fix the computers. I use a guy in Miami called Solo Electronics. Um, every, every one of these companies that repair these things pretty much know what's going on and know what they gotta do to fix them. It's a plug and play also. And that's 01 to 03. It was so bad that they actually extended the warranties on the transmissions. Uh, I think up to 120, 10 years to 120,000 miles. But that's, uh, you know, of course, that's long gone. So I just wanted to go over that uh, on those particular years with the 750 code, 755 code. Um, and I guess that's about it for this uh, U140. Again, number one problem is this planetary goes bad. I don't think I've ever seen one that I didn't have to change out of all of these uh, that I've done. Maybe back in the day when I was working on the earlier cars that came in with bad computers, you know, these pins, uh, if you know about it, you know the pins are loose. So what you can actually do, if that's the case, if it's not coming in, you know, anything above, I would say, 2003, you know, I wouldn't even play with this planet, I'd just change it, but because more than likely, that's what your problem is. But when we were getting these in with the U, I'm sorry, with the P, um, uh, P0750 codes and the transmission, at that point it was too late, they were no good, the clutch was burned out, and these pins were loose, you know, you can take a, a, the sun gear, I would send it out to a machinist, like this, and then he would, you know, tack weld it in place, and I was able to use it over, but Again, a long time ago on that, um, but pretty much uh, other than that, these planets um, really need to be changed. All right, this actually is a 2000, um, and that problem didn't affect uh, the Lexus. It's only, I believe it was just the RAV4s, but every one of them was no good. Uh, all right, so I guess that is about it for this U140 common issues. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, and we will see you next one.